So guys, this video is going to be a little bit different than what we typically do on this channel. I look a little bit crazy because like, listen, I just found out about this. I don't know if you guys know, but Shinobi Life 2 was actually taken down on Roblox. It's been officially banned, DMCA'd if you will. And it caught me by surprise, definitely, because it was just a regular day. And I'm like, why now? Like, it's been up for so long. Why now? Right. And I have a little bit of a theory or a conspiracy theory, if you will. But this is like a super hard reach. Like, you know what I like? What a hard reach is, guys. That's basically what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm about to say is a super hard reach. So the corporation that took down the game on Roblox is actually Viz Media. Now, it's interesting to me that it's Viz that took down the game and not some other entity that holds rights to, let's say, you know, gaming intellectual rights or things like that. It's actually the people that hold the rights to distribute and publish manga that are taking down the game. Now, apparently they took it down because of one, the group name for the game being Naruto or having something to do with Naruto in its title, which I was unaware of. And second of all, also because of some of the soundtracks in the actual game. Now, again, kind of confusing to me because if you look up composition rights and all that things, it's not really very Viz, there's other entities in line with rights associated to musical creations or tracks, if you will. So I'm a little bit put off by that, but here's like the little conspiracy theory. So Viz happens to follow me on Twitter. And by the way, I'm not saying nothing bad. Hey, Viz, I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, I love you guys, man. But my little conspiracy theory is that I've never shared anything about Shinobi Life 2 on Twitter until recently. And then like I share that stuff on Twitter recently, you know, Viz and I both follow each other, you know, and then a couple of days later, now Shinobi Life 2 is banned. Like, I, I it's a reach because it's kind of like, who am I, right? Like, literally, who am I to have, like, that influence or that, like, just power for that to happen? But I just thought I'd point it out there. So that, that's really why I'm making this video, because, yeah, I feel bad about the whole situation, but... Really, there's not much that I can do. There's not much that you guys can do. That's the sad reality of it all. No matter how much you say or at Roblox or like, oh, fix this now, fix this now. It, it's it's really not up to that. Like, it, it, this is stuff that has to do with intellectual property. So I don't really know. I, I don't know. Anything that can be done would either be, be between Roblox and Viz or the creators of the game and Roblox and visits as well. But like I said, that, that's really why I'm making this video because, you know, aside from that too, maybe some of you guys didn't know, but most importantly, I kind of somewhat feel like maybe I had something to do with it. I don't know. And if I did, I, I'm like from the deepest of my hearts, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, it's a hard reach because it's like, bro, like it's not even like who the hell cares about OG Vax, right? But there has been things that have happened before with other companies and I'm not going to name in this video specifically, but you know, instances where something would happen or I would have an exchange or whatever the case may be. And like days later, weeks later, I see that they actually did something for a game or, or revolving around the conversation that I had. So since I've seen that happen before, based on conversations that I've had, I, you know, that could also be a whole conspiracy and that could have been just timing and it could have been coincidental who knows i don't know i'm just saying i personally feel bad because it just doesn't make sense to me right like why why would viz go out of their way to target a game on roblox based on the name naruto and for music like it just it doesn't really add up too much and in my mind the only thing that i see is like oh i never post anything about shinobi life 2 i post something about shinobi life 2 recently on my twitter and all of a sudden, boom, the game's taken down. So I, I don't know. Like, that's just, you know, the way that I view it, the way that I see it, right? And also, I also want to point this out. There's been a lot of shifts recently at the company. So this is public knowledge, by the way. This is not like some insider secret or stuff like that. But obviously, that might also have to do with the way this was handled and how things actually went down because it's it's a brand new environment in a way. That's that's all I'm going to say. If you guys want to know more information, you can do your due diligence and research. But I will sum up this video with, yes, the game has been taken down. No, we don't know when the game's coming back. I mean, the developers of the game, I'll link, I guess, the video in the comments or something or in the description. You can go watch that video, but the developers are basically doing a whole movement and pretty much they detail in that video what they will do going forward but i thought i'd do my part just you know raise awareness that the game has been taken down and the developers are trying to get it back up but um i don't know 
I don't know. And one last thing before I end off this video, I know I said that I didn't really know anything about this and it's true because literally I was buying a new car that I'm getting delivered on Monday, which I was telling people on Twitter. I literally went to Twitter when I got back home. I'm like, hey, I'm getting a new car. Do you guys want to see a vlog on my delivery of the car or something? Which you should also let me know in the comment section below about that. But yeah, then I found out that Shalobi Life, like I checked my mentions and I was like, I had hella people telling me, yo, Shinobi Life 2 is down. And it's like, yikes. You know, like, I, I don't know. I It just doesn't make sense if you really think about it. Like, because, yeah, it's understandable. Yeah, the, the name Naruto for the group and then music. But what does that have to do with Viz, though? Especially the music. Like, I get the name Naruto, but the music? What does that have to do with Viz? Like, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I, I, it just doesn't really make too much sense to me. And one last time, again, if, if, if you want to search up and do your due diligence, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm not going to dive too much into it because I don't want to, like, ruin any relations that I have with Viz as well. But just look up the compositions, composers, rights to Naruto music. And you will see what I'm trying to get at. That's all I'm going to say. And again, if I some way, somehow, in any shape or form, had influenced anybody at Viz to do anything, I, I sincerely apologize. Because I, I don't I don't know why it would happen. I don't know why now, of all the time that the game has been up, I just, it doesn't really make too much sense. And I'm just really just saying the same thing all over again because it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't, why now, right? Why now? But all right, guys, I'm going to end off this video here. I feel sorry for the developers behind the game because this is like, I can only imagine you work so hard on something. It's doing really good. You're celebrating a success. You have all these different milestones you want to get and break and this and that. And then all of a sudden, boom, everything's in shambles and destroyed just because of that type of decision, you know?